Six Memos for the Next Millennium, initially planned as a series of lectures by Italian author Italo Calvino for the Charles Eliot Norton Lecture Series at Harvard University in 1985, offers a glimpse into Calvino's vision for the future of literature. Unfortunately, Calvino passed away before he could complete the series, leaving behind five essays encapsulating his ideals, lightness, quickness, exactitude, visibility, and multiplicity. The intended sixth memo, on consistency, remained unfinished. Translated into English by Patrick Cray, the collection outlines values Calvino believed essential for writers in the approaching millennium. In the absence of the sixth essay, Calvino's thoughts are primarily focused on lightness, which he held closest to his heart. For him, lightness wasn't merely a literary technique, but a multifaceted concept. It represented a method of storytelling, a philosophical stance akin to the naturalism of ancient thinkers like Lucretius and Ovid, and an inherent quality in writing itself, irrespective of the author's beliefs. Through his exploration of lightness, Calvino aimed to strip away the burdensome weight from narratives and language, ultimately revealing the secret of lightness amidst the gravity of existence. Finally, and particularly pertinent for the forthcoming millennium, lightness embodies a mode of thought, a means of transcending life's cacophony. Calvino examines literary history through the lens of lightness, contending that two opposing tendencies have vied for prominence, one seeks to render language weightless, akin to a cloud drifting above reality, while the other endeavors to imbue language with the heft, density, and tangibility of physical objects. He lauds Milan Kundera's novel, The Unbearable Lightness of Being as an exemplary instance of the former. The second memo delves into quickness. Calvino clarifies that he isn't addressing narrative tempo, which can vary from sluggish to cyclic or even stationary. Instead, quickness is a facet of lightness, characterized by agility, mobility, and fluidity, qualities inherent in writing that embraces digressions, leaps across topics, and repeatedly loses and regains its narrative thread. Although Calvino composed his thoughts in the 1980s, prior to the ascendancy of computer-mediated communication, he astutely predicts that in an era marked by incredibly swift, pervasive media, rapidity in literature will facilitate the vital task of fostering communication between disparate entities, accentuating rather than blurring their distinctions, thus remaining faithful to the essence of written language. The third memo, dedicated to exactitude, appropriately commences with a precise delineation. Calvino defines exactitude as comprising three primary aspects, a meticulously crafted and calculated blueprint for the work at hand, the summoning of vivid, incisive, and memorable visual imagery, and a language characterized by utmost precision, both in the selection of words and in the articulation of nuanced thoughts and imaginings. Calvino celebrates precision in style, noting that even seemingly elaborate writers like Joyce and Nobokov strive for exactitude in expression. However, Calvino is particularly intrigued by the forms of precision inherent in his own writing, the utilization of logical, numerical, or geometrical systems to shape a narrative. In his discussion on visibility, Calvino revisits the peril posed by contemporary media. He includes visibility among the values worth preserving to caution against the erosion of a fundamental human faculty, the ability to conjure visions with closed eyes, to extract forms and hues from the black letters on a white page, and fundamentally, to think in images. He frets over the dwindling imaginative capacity to craft mental images, besieged by the proliferation of prepackaged visual stimuli. Moving to the memo on multiplicity, Calvino presents his argument for the distinctiveness of literature. Unlike most disciplines where excessive ambition is deemed superfluous, in literature, it is indispensable. According to Calvino, literature thrives only when authors set themselves unattainable objectives, surpassing all conceivable accomplishments. In his view, the coming era demands multiplicity due to science's inclination towards segmented and specialized knowledge. Multiplicity not only mirrors our diverse experiences, but also synthesizes their individuality into a cohesive whole. Italo, Calvino stands as a preeminent figure in 20th century Italian literature. Six Memos for the Next Millennium, both a work of literary critique and introspection, serves as an indispensable companion to his oeuvre elucidating his artistic vision and probing self-analysis. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.